Hi everyone, it's May 17th, 2012, and this is Kosh Turkey. I'm just here for a day, and I, while it's so beautiful here, I just, I'm not really bonding with the city that much. But as you can see, it's just exceptional. And I think that there's something for everybody in Turkey in terms of a style of holiday that you might want to have. And this place, while you don't see anyone doing sporting right this moment, well, maybe you can in the far, far distance. I, I can't zoom at the moment, but in the exact center of this, this shot, above that mountain there are two paragliders. This is the place you come if you you are with someone and you want to do adventure type travel or you're a retiree that doesn't really expect a strong sense of community and you, you have you're comfortable just kind of spending money indiscriminately. I haven't spent that much money myself, but I can see that actually in Turkey, so far the cheapest place I have been is Istanbul, and nobody quite agrees with it, with that assessment, but as a solo traveler I would say that's probably true. And you've seen, if you follow my website, tarotworldtour.wordpress.com, uh, there are some videos of Olympus that I haven't publicized on YouTube. A lot of my videos are not searchable on YouTube. Uh, Olympus is also another really good deal where you can get quite a bit for for 30 lira if you stay in a dormitory. That said, the cheapest I stayed was 20 lira in Istanbul and the eating out is cheaper if you go to places called self-service. At any rate, speaking of costs and stretching money, I had another nightmare last night that really relates to a lot of people watching. Uh, for at least a year, I have had dreams of famine and uh, people losing their assets, stuff like that. And last night I had a dream that I returned to my hometown in Kansas and I went to a retail area where I used to work and all of these people that I knew just kind of in passing were economically decimated. They were surviving, but it was clear based on what I observed them doing as tasks at work that they had they were living in reduced circumstances. And I've had these dreams for a while, but I haven't really seen any tremendous consequences. I have lots of friends in duress right now, but it's been this way for, for quite some time. And People like to say that 2008 was the beginning of the crisis, but we had a year of warning before that, and really things have not been good since about the year 2000 for a lot of people. Everything else has just been in speculation markets. At any rate, I don't really know what to do with this information as I pass it on. Uh, I don't think it's the end of the world. I don't think that everybody's going to die or anything like that, but if... 
basically do what you want to do now and try to work out small-scale economic unions amongst yourselves, ourselves. Uh, yes, living in reduced means will contract the economy further, but if you do it the right way by re reallocating your money towards people you know when you spend, I think that in the long run it would be okay. It's when you spend your money at a superstore that the money is truly lost. And most abstract investments, as you've heard me say before, stocks, um, anything that you can't physically touch or see the difference, I would really hesitate to get involved in. And have you been paying attention to high frequency trading? This is a really serious issue. The money that is in the system is just vanishing to these supercomputers in the US and UK by the use of algorithms. And it, what's happening is people on the inside, very small in number, create the money enjoy it before the inflation hits. We, we get to bear the burden of the inflation and then they suck it back up through these um, algorithms. So I, if, if you don't want this destiny of starvation, you're really going to have to be an activist with all of your purchases. And sitting here in Turkey, I feel as though it's kind of the calm before the storm, yet all of this natural landscape here is the result of eternity. So this will be here long after our money vanishes. I don't really know what else to say about that. I, I try to get people to think in these terms but yet I still see lots of references of people going to Walmart and, and Target and stuff like that. Think, think very carefully about what you buy. Thanks, bye.